De golpe, en el puerto subiendo, me encuentro a Zoe y a Barry. Y ellos iban subiendo por el puerto, iban como a buen ritmo, tienen como un buen rollo, un, una buena aura y digo, va, me intento enganchar a ellos, a ver si puedo ir con ellos el resto de la etapa. Y he empezado a ir, a ir, a ir y las piernas han empezado a ir. Me sentía como, como una familia, no sé, estaba súper a gusto. My name is Zoe Roy and I'm from Bend, Oregon, but I'm actually originally from Canada. My name is Barry Wicks. I'm also from Bend, Oregon, but I grew up in Oregon. I'm not Canadian. Um, I, I'm in Canada because I'm a chef at a backcountry lodge, a skiing lodge in the winter and a hiking lodge in the summer. So that's what I was doing for most of August until Monday. <laughs> and then I came to the gravel race. <laughs> so I wash the dishes <laughs> and I also uh, manage the Kona bicycle race team. I used to be a professional athlete, mountain bike racer. Um, but now I'm retired mostly and just do fun things and mm -hmm. adventures around the world. Trans Rockies Gravel Royale, it's, it's an awesome race just because we're we're a whole, we just, 300 people are together for four days and for part of it you don't have your, you don't have Wi-Fi or internet and so you have to talk to people and make new friends. So really you just hang out and ride your bike. Yeah, I mean, I really like the Gravel Royale because we do things like this. Like I've never met yeah. you guys and look at this, we're now we're friends and like <laughs> that happened in four days. I think that that's a pretty special experience. So like aside from the rad bike rides and everything else, it's just this really cool chance to meet a bunch of really neat people and get to interact with them and yeah, spend time in the woods, it's great. I mean, the, the riding was fun, but really it's them that we'll remember. Yeah. Yeah, the friends, you guys. Gravel, uh, I do like gravel a lot because it takes you to some really awesome places, but I am really glad I'm, I was also on sort of a mountain bike for a lot of this race. Yeah, I mean, I really like the gravel <laughs> thing because it can bring a lot of sort of diversity to the racing, because, because Say it was a mountain bike race, it's a lot harder, like more challenging technically. And like gravel racing still allows a similar experience. You're in the woods, you're out like out there far away from everything, but it's not as hard. And so the barrier to entry is lower. And I think that that's really cool because a lot of different types of people come and do it. So I think that's my favorite aspect of it. I like the bike riding as well, but I tend to do well on the bumpy stuff. So it's nice to have. <laughs> I actually, for this race, I chose a gravel bike, but I put flat bars on it just because I'm more comfortable on a mountain bike. And then I had um, a mountain bike chain ring, right? Or how rear you, gears. Rear gears, mountain bike rear gears. So they were a little easier. Yeah, I mean, I think that that's the beauty of doing an event where it's two people on the same team. Like the solo event's really cool and it's a really good personal challenge, but doing it with a, a, like a teammate is really cool because you get to have the experience together. And part of that experience is, yeah, like looking after each other. You know, you're out there in the middle of nowhere and like usually I'm the one dragging Zoe into this stuff. I really want to make sure she has a good time and like doesn't hate it. So I'm like trying really hard to make sure she doesn't like totally hate me at the end of it. So he there's that component. He feeds me snacks out of his fanny pack and hands me water and <laughs> fills up my bottle and puts chain on my lube, or lube on my chain while we're riding. It's great. It's very good. You may get this one. Uh, well, today, uh, as far as uniform goes, today we decided it was formal day, so we bo both wore button-up shirts. I had a button-up, he, ha he wore a button-up. <laughs> How the outfit of today? Yeah. Every day, every day you surprise me. <laughs> Looking good, I must say. It was very comfortable. <laughs> well, the real story is the first time that I took Zoe gravel riding, Oh, that's she true. She didn't know like <laughs> what she was supposed to wear, so she Googled like, what do you wear at gravel riding? Yeah. And there was a picture of someone wearing like cutoff jeans and a flannel shirt. And so that's, and that's just her style yeah. now. So I just try to keep up. You guys are welcome <laughs> to adopt that style. Uh, first impression, well, just there, it kind of reminded me of, do you know the Smurfs? Do you know what a Smurf is? You guys all running around in your blue shirts, they reminded me of the Smurfs. <laughs> Which is a good thing. <laughs> But then, uh, actually I noticed Raquel first, and I was like, oh, I think I want to be friends with her. She seems very nice. And then by then we were friends. So I feel like I just had to sort of think about it and then it happened. Bueno, pues estoy haciendo toda la bajada y a la etapa con esta pareja. Son super majos. Well, today we, we caught her on the climb, I think, and we rode by and I was like, come on, you should come with us. <laughs> and she did, and it was great. 
yeah, it was great to have her behind us the whole day. It made it fun, very fun, I thought. Yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> company is nice to have, yeah. you know, like, I like hanging out with Zoe, but like sometimes other people it's nice to hang out with too. So it was quite good, and like it was a it was a good match in terms of our pacing. We were very yeah. very even and steady together, so it was, we didn't have to wait or anything like that. It was just very natural that we all rode together. So yeah, and we were both on similar. We were all on similar bikes too. Yeah, she was shredding yeah. the downhill. She shredded the downhill. But uh, yeah, like you guys you guys cut a figure out there. It was nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm.